and it turned out you could end up deficient without being born prematurely. This was a pretty big deal because only 74% of people with cerebral palsy are born prematurely. The different ways we figured out trace mineral deficiency occurred include maternal deficiency, prematurity or low birth weight, absorption issues, malnutrition, exposure to pterogens, and probably others that we just don't know yet. Deficiency due to prematurity and low birth weight was easy. We made a chart. If your kid was born this big, your kid only got this much. But maternal deficiency and absorption issues, those were game changers. In theory, everyone gets maternal deficiency. It's the reason WIC exists. Moms need good nutrition during pregnancy. You can read about it at the USRDA website. Books about moms eating right are everywhere. My personal favorite is the one by Dr. Barbara Luke, when you're expecting twins, triplets, or quads. But the reason moms are supposed to eat spinach and beef liver instead of just cookies and ice cream isn't the calories. It's the nutrients. And those nutrients in food matter because if mom doesn't have it, she can't pass it to her baby, which means maternal deficiency is a huge deal. Not just for the already documented at risk due to food deserts, famine, poverty, multiple pregnancies, and teenagers who won't eat, but also for the moms with absorption issues like celiac, Crohn's, yeast issues, leaky gut, or even hyperemesis. Because if mom can't absorb it, she can't pass it to her baby. And mom's born prematurely, vets say deficiencies can impact two generations. And for kids with absorption issues, like celiac or Crohn's, gluten intolerance, yeast overgrowth, pyral disorder, or plain old leaky gut. Well, if they can't absorb what they need from their food supply, they end up either dead or labeled special needs. I also want to specifically call out two things, osmotic laxatives and overuse of antibiotics, because both can cause absorption issues. Osmotic laxatives, specifically Miralax, are not supposed to be used long term. After seven days, they begin to impact the intestine's ability to absorb nutrients. The children with these deficiencies usually suffer from chronic constipation. Miralax helps with that. Unfortunately, it makes the deficiency problem worse. Be aware. Antibiotics are generally a good thing. However, any woman who has ever had a urinary tract infection knows the drill. Go on antibiotics and next step, yeast infection. This is because antibiotics kill off good bacteria as well as the bad urinary tract infection. I suspect the reason we had a response rate of 100% of boys ages 0 to 4, which was 33 children, is because yeast issues are harder to identify in boys versus girls. My advice? If your child has been on a lot of antibiotics and now has issues, Start correcting the deficiency orally while you clean up gut health. Remember the runt pigs? A key takeaway was rapid assimilation of nutrients shunted directly into the bloodstream across the stomach wall. Getting these nutrients across the stomach wall bypasses the intestines if you have gut issues like yeast overgrowth, absorption issues, or necrotizing enterocolitis. Okay, I've given you a ton of information, and now 